Good morning, it's Wednesday, October 4th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Evolutionary Accident, and our scripture is Psalm chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. In an Advent sermon entitled Advent, Facing God in the Face of Nothingness, Dr. Stanley Hauerwas shared a message so desperately needed today in our world, which is stuffed full of nihilism, emptiness, and vanity, the sense of zero purpose and meaning. Here's an excerpt from that message. Quote, Christian humanism is not based on the presumption that our humanity is self-justifying. Rather, Christians are humanists because God showed up in Mary's belly. We are not an evolutionary accident. We are not bubbles on the foam that coats a stormy sea. We are God's chosen people. We've been given good work to do in a time when many no longer think there is good work. What an extraordinary claim. What extraordinary good news. The psalmist shares Dr. Howard's point that God's presence fills the earth, stretching even further than the heavens to that unknown quote-unquote above. The psalmist also touches the nerve every human experiences. That is, why? Why am I here? Is there any purpose to my existence? Or am I an extraordinary, albeit meaningless, accident? produced by the chance collision of matter with a black hole. Indeed, we all ask, what are we, who, and what am I? The opening remarks of Dr. Howard's sermon quotes William James, a late 19th century Harvard professor and philosopher, also a psychiatrist, who called the Earth and its universe a local accident in an appalling wilderness of worlds where no life can exist. Let there be no question about James. As an atheist, he would have us believe that God is simply the figment of imagination. We create him because we need something to cling to in all the emptiness we inhabit, devoid of any sense of hope. Listen to what he said. Though the scientist may individually nourish a religion and be a theist in his irresponsible hours, the days are over when it could be said that For science herself the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. For William James, the age of so-called enlightenment proclaims the light of the heavens is merely a scientific reflection of man's glory, an ode to the human ability of observation. But according to divinely revealed truth, the heavens and earth are God's invitation to us to explore the wonder and majesty of God's glory, not a reflection of man's genius produced by a clumsy collision of atoms and antimatter. All of life, the very existence of humankind, and the deepest question of the ages calls to the deepest part of that unanswered question, who am I and what am I doing here? In Christ alone we find the truth. You are my beloved, and in me you will know your worth and purpose. For you today, questions call for either hypothetical guesses or reasoned evidence. Both take a measure of faith. So, did we make God in our own image to stifle in uneasiness with an unsatisfactory answer? Or are we created in God's image to be His glory? You 
meet you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.